The Inspired Youth Movement started about a year ago. Um, it started off in Cape Town and we are now proudly up in Johannesburg. This has been our biggest event to date. We started off with 24 people and uh, I think today we reached about three and a half thousand. Um, and it's just about inspiring the future of South Africa to understand that there's opportunity everywhere, that there's possibility everywhere, and that if you follow your passion, you're probably going to end up being rewarded and living a long, fulfilling lifestyle. What we want to get over to the youth of South Africa is that South African whole has had a, a rather bad background. We are ridiculed for certain things, our, um, our Randall exchange rates, etc, etc, the list goes on. However, we live in the most beautiful country on the planet. We have the most amazing people on the planet. And I think together, if we inspire the youth to understand that, we're going to just grow this country into greatness as exactly where it belongs. I've learned that education is the key to success and never give up on your dreams. They are happy because they see uh, many things like uh, education, uh, how do you know about presenting, they were teaching about technology, to become a social worker. Lot of people like to be entrepreneurs, you must be an entrepreneur, yes? You are the youth and you are the future of this country. So I'm saying to the youth, let's stand up. Let's stand up and fight for our youth. This is our future. Yeah, I've learned that the background that I come from doesn't affect the future that I'm going to. The show itself gave learners an opportunity to do introspection, but most important, it's a reminder where our country come from and what the potential is ex exists within our country. So we can't be a youth that is just on social media and apathetic and not uh, involved. You just gotta put your heart into it, believe and actually do, because talk is cheap. In the future, I mean it's all about the youth, we all know that, it's all about the youngsters. So I think in the future, if we have youngsters that are entrepreneurial based, that are chasing passions and living fulfilling lives, that will create more happiness. And more happiness will therefore create just a better world in general. A lot of crime and poverty, they say, comes from anger, comes from resentment, comes from negative emotions. So if we can provide them at the moment with a memorable day and an unforgettable experience and a platform whereby they can associate themselves with like-minded individuals individuals that are all aspirational, I think we're achieving exactly what we're aiming for.